Hello, everyone. Welcome to She Hoops Week 2 for Round 2. Um, thank you for joining me on your Monday public holiday weekend. Um, it's a small group tonight, but I'm hoping a lot of people watch this after the fact um, during the week. I know a lot of you watching it later in the week will have had tournaments this weekend. So I hope you did really well. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So to start with, we're going to use our ball for our activations today. So to start with, I just want our arms out nice and straight. And we're going to twist from our thoracic. So the top of our back. So I don't want our hips to move like this. Okay. We're twisting from our thoracic. So the top of your back. And I want to keep your arms out and straight. And we're trying to get as far as we can over to the left, keeping our hips nice and straight. Take a deep breath in and out there. And then back to the middle and to the other side. Hoping you guys, you're a lot younger than me, can get a little bit further than I can. Each time, try and get a little bit further. We're going to go five each side. This is three. Four, and last one each side, so when I first started I could only get to here, okay, and on the fifth one I can get all the way over nearly at 180 degrees, so it's just really important that we keep our body nice and mobile nice and stretched, okay? So then we can do more on the court. Um, the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna go our legs a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. We're gonna start with the ball on our chest. As we bend our knees, keep our chest nice and tall, eyes nice and tall. We're going to drop the ball down to the ground. Okay, as we stand up, we're gonna press it overhead. Down to the ground, press overhead. We're gonna do 15 of these. That's Oh, sorry, guys. That's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15. Okay, next one we're going to do, my favorite exercise, the arabesque. So we're holding the ball, okay? We're standing on one leg, balancing on one leg. We're pushing the ball out in front of us as our hips hinge. So I'm keeping that standing leg nice and straight, the back leg nice and straight till I become parallel to the ground, okay? So we're going to do 10 of these, 10 each leg. Two, Three, by pushing the ball out, it should help you balance. Four, you should be feeling this in the back of the standing leg and a little bit in the glute of the leg that you're raising up. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, swapping legs. One leg will be easier to balance on than the other. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Great job. Okay, next one. Another one for our legs. So we're going to put the ball, see how wide my feet are. They're wider than any stance you'd get in in basketball, okay? So we're going to put the ball on the ground and then I'm going to roll the ball over to my left leg, okay? As I roll over, I lean over that leg. So try and keep your chest as tall as you can. My left knee's bent, my right leg straight, okay? And as we roll the ball over to our other side, our weight changes, all right? We're going to do quite a bit of ball handling. 
quite a bit of, bit of dribbling moves where we really want to get in a nice wide stance, get really shifty with it, okay? We're going to do 20 all up. That's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Stand up nice and tall. Okay. This time when I push the ball to one side, I want both feet to turn that way. But my front leg where the ball is is still bent. My back leg's still straight. But we're just pivoting our feet. Okay. We're just going to do 10 of these. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Last one for our activation series. We're going to warm up our fingertips a little bit before we get dribbling and keep those legs moving. So we're going to let's go feet shoulder width apart, tiny bit wider if you want. We're going to tap the ball from fingertips up above our head. As we come down with the ball, our body weight's going to go down as well into a squat. Keeping that ball moving. We're gonna do 10 of these. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, everyone. Grab a really quick drink and then we'll get into our dribbling series. All right, 10, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, so first up, as always, we're going to start practicing our dribbling with our pound dribble. So we're just going to go, let's go 50 as hard as we can. We don't want the ball to come above our hip. All right, we're pounding it as hard as we can in our nice athletic stance. So knees bent, eyes up, chest up. All right, let's go 50. Try and beat me. Ready, set, go. Put an arm 50. All right, swap hands, left hands. Ready, set, go. Fifty. Okay, great job, everyone. Next up, we've got our overhand cross. So remember, we usually use a water bottle for this one. And we're dribbling it at our right foot with our right hand, pushing the ball over to our left foot, okay? Back to our right hand, our right foot, sorry. So we're pushing the ball over. As we're doing this, if you don't have a water bottle, that's fine. As we're doing this today, I want you to feel like you're doing that lunge that we practiced in the warm-up. So when it's over my right foot, my left leg's straight, my right knee's bent. When I'm over my left, my left leg's bent, my right leg's straight, okay? So we're moving our body with the ball. All right, let's go for 20 from now. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Great job, swap hands. So we're shifting our weight. Try and be light on your feet, shifting the weight from foot to foot. 
All right, let's try and pick it up a little bit quicker now. We're going for 20, go. Great job. Next up, we have the pocket dribble. So remember, that's the one where we pull the ball back, our elbow back. And as the name suggests, we want the ball to be going into our pocket, okay? So we're pulling it back. Pull that elbow back. Pull that shoulder blade back, okay? It'll feel like a carry. That's okay while we're practicing. Okay, let's do 10 more. Good. Let's walk to the left hand. So again, pull that shoulder blade back. Pull that elbow back. Okay, five more. All right, we did both of those last week. So now I'm going to add on um, and combine the two movements. So we're going pound dribble. So that's just our normal dribble. Pound. Overhand cross, pull back, pound, overhand cross, pocket dribble. So we're going pound, overhand cross, pocket dribble, okay? And here the tempo difference. So the pound, the overhand cross, they're really quick. And then the pocket dribble is a lot slower, okay? So it's one, two, three, four, two, three, four. Go three more. One, two, three. Great job, everyone. Let's swap pants. So we're going pound, overhand cross. Oh, it's hard to do it slow. Pocket dribble. Pound, overhand cross, pull it back. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Pound, overhand cross, pull it back. Go 10 reps now. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Great job, everyone. All right. Next up, I think this one's a little bit easier from memory. Yep. We're going pound dribble. So our normal dribble, pound. I want your feet wider than shoulder width for this one. Knees bent, okay? And I want you to keep the ball in this area here, okay? So we're going pound dribble, cross, cross, pound, cross, cross, pound, cross, cross. And again, you can hear the pound dribble slower. The cross, cross is nice and quick and snappy, okay? So pound, cross, cross. All right, let's go 15 reps starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, my quads are burning, so everyone stand up, okay? It's really important when we're doing this, why we warmed up in those nice deep squat positions. We want our back nice and straight, our chest up, okay? I don't want anyone dribbling it like this. It really hurts your back and you're not in a powerful position to make plays, okay? So we're going to swap hands, of course. Well, everything we do on the right side of our body, we need to be able to do on our left, okay? Oh, I'm puffing. So we're going with our left hand, pound, cross, cross, pound, cross, cross. Down, cross, cross. Okay, let's go 15 now. One. Woo! Keep going. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay? I'm not even as good on that side as my right side, okay? So I should probably practice that more as well. All right, next up, I'm going to teach you a new dribble move, okay? I'm not very good at this one. I'm just learning it myself, okay? So I'm sure some of you will be better at it than me. Than me. So we're standing nice and tall. I just want you really light on your feet. You're going to keep your left foot back, all right? So take a couple of dribbles, and then I want you to step forward in that nice lunge position that we practiced in our warm-up. My weight's over my front knee. I'm pounding the ball at my right foot. And then I'm standing up. So okay, this is called a punch dribble. That's six reps. Let's do fifteen all up. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. All right, awesome job, everyone. Let's swap hands. So this time, my left foot is going to come out in front and I'm going to pound the ball as my left foot hits the ground. The ball and my foot are going to try and hit at the same time, okay? Keep that right leg back and anchored. Pound. 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 All right, let's go 15. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, that one's an awesome one to get your body um, and your ball moving at the same time. So the more we can get our body to synchronize with the ball, the easier the skills become. Oh, I need a drink soon. Couple more and then we can grab a drink. Um, all right, so we're going, we're going to do a shooting drill with this one. All right, so to start with, we're going to bounce the ball at our right foot. As we bounce the ball, okay, I want you to step. So pushing off with your right leg, we're stepping to our left foot, okay? So we're going to catch it each time. So we'll bounce it on our left foot. So as we bounce the ball, we're stepping to our right foot and catching the ball. So land on two feet each time. So bounce, push, bounce, push, bounce, push. Seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Great job, everyone. Okay. Now we're going to, as we bounce the ball, we're not going to uh, jump to that side, but we're going to step out with the opposite foot. So we're going to bounce, step out, and let's shift our body weight. So bounce, step out, bounce, sorry. Start again, my bad. As we bounce the ball, we're gonna do a pocket dribble. So the one we did at the start where we pull our elbow back and we're gonna step out, okay? I don't care if it's a carry at the moment. So I don't care if your hand comes under the ball. I just wanna get the footwork right, okay? So pound, step out with the opposite foot. Everyone stop. We're going to take a couple of dribbles in between each rep. So we're going to take a couple of dribbles to patter our feet, step out, come back, step out. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, everyone. Swap hands. Left hand, pat your feet. Step out. Your body weight goes over that foot, away from the ball. 
set, set, set. Two more. One more. Great job, everyone. Grab a quick drink. Whew. That dribbling stuff was really hard today, okay? But you guys are doing such a great job of picking everything up. So I want our, now I want our bodies and our minds and the ball to all be doing something kind of different time, okay? Because that's gen generally how basketball play is played. There's a lot of things going on at different times. So the more in control you are of the ball while your body's doing something different, all right, the easier and the slower the game will become to be. So keep having a drink. I am really puffed. Right. We're going to move on to our shooting now, okay? You can go as close to the ring as you want for this, all right? This is form shooting, okay? So if you want to get a little jump in your shot, you can move a little bit further back. If you want to focus solely on your form shooting without jumping, obviously go closer to the ring, all right? We did this last time on chi hoops in the last round, but we're going to work on our pivoting and our shooting at the same time. So the first one is, whenever we do this, whatever move we're doing, I want us to get the ball into our shot pocket as quick as possible, okay? So ball in your shot pocket. So your shot pocket is the side of your ball, the side that you shoot the ball. So for me, I'm right-handed. I wanna get it into literally where my pocket is as quick as possible. So from here with my hand ready to shoot, okay? Both my hands are in position to shoot. My feet will be in position and my elbow, shoulder, foot, everything's lined up at the ring, okay? The quicker I can get the ball there, no matter what move I'm doing beforehand, the better chance I have of making the shot, okay? So eyes focus quickly on the ring, ball to the shot pocket. So to start with, we're going to pivot on our right foot. So we're going to go a full 180 degree pivot on our right foot. So we're pivoting away from the basket and then back to the basket, locate the ring and shoot, okay? So obviously you can do the pivots quicker than that, but I'm just demonstrating for now. So we're going front pivot, away from the basket, to the basket, shoot, okay? Let's make five each way. So pivoting on our right foot, that's three, Four, last one, pivoting on our right foot away from the basket, to the basket, shot. All right, great job, everyone. Now we're going to pivot on our left foot. So keep the ball. If you're left-handed, this one will be easier for you. If you're right-handed, keep the ball in your right shot pocket, okay? So we're going on our, on our left foot. We're pivoting away from the basket, to the basket, shoot. One, away, two, shoot, two, away, two, shoot, three, four. My shot hasn't changed every single time. I'm shooting the exact same shot, okay? Fingers in the ring, elbow to your ear. Last one. Good, good job guys. Okay, next up, we're going to do a reverse pivot, okay? So we're going on our right foot first. We're just going to do three of these, okay? So with the reverse pivot, remember I'm going the opposite way to the front pivot. So front, we're going shoulders. If you're pivoting on your right foot, your shoulders are going to the right, okay? If we're doing a reverse pivot, my shoulders are going to the left. I'm lifting up my left foot, pivoting on my right, and I'm spinning all the way around 180 degrees, and then back to the ring. 
Okay, this one's going to feel a lot harder. The reverse pivot is a lot harder. So right foot turning to my left. My eyes are going to the left all the way around, all the way around. Two. That's two. Ball's in my shot pocket. My left foot's coming off. I'm just keeping my right foot on the ground, turning to my left, to my left. Shoot. Okay. So that's three. Let's swap feet. So this time my left foot's on the ground. I'm going to turn my eyes to the right. Okay. So the ball's in my shot pocket, turning my eyes to the right, to the right. Shoot. Okay. Okay, for this last one, let's try and stay down in our stance the whole time. Okay, knees bent back straight, bum out. Awesome job, everyone. Great job. Okay, next up. Our shot should be feeling pretty good now. Next up, we have... Okay, we're doing a lot. Last week, we did a lot of jump shooting without bouncing the ball. So this week... We're not really going to cover any distance, but I want us to work dribbling the ball and getting into that nice shot technique, okay? Getting ready to move on next week where we'll cover some distance. So take a step back from where you just were with our form shooting, all right? And all we're going to do, dribble it in whatever hand you want, take a couple of bounces on the spot, pattering our feet. When you're ready to shoot, I want you to jump, drop down, okay? And then straight up into our shot. So I'll show you from front on. So we're pattering, pattering our feet. So drop down. Shoot. Both of my feet are leaving the floor at the same time and landing at the same time. My right foot, the foot I shoot with, is a little bit in front. Okay, so there's no wasted movements. I'm pattering my feet. Both come up. Both come off the ground as I pick the ball up. I land. And see how I'm loaded, I'm ready to shoot, balls in my shot pocket, straight up, okay? That's the goal. So pattering my feet, jump, land, shoot. Go that slow for now, okay? When you get comfortable with it, you can do it quicker. Same shot every time, elbow, elbow by your ear, fingers in the ring. Okay, that's five makes for me. Let's switch to our, the other hand. So the other hand that you weren't dribbling with, all right? So if it's your left hand, if you're a right-hander, if it's your right hand, if you're a left-hander, the most important thing is on that pickup of the dribble, we need to snatch the ball across our body, get it into our shot pocket, okay? So we're dribbling. Jump, snatch the ball across, shoot. Dribble, 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 snatch, shoot. Oh. I'm not getting the ball to my shot, shot pocket quick enough. There we go. One. Two. The harder you bounce and dribble, the more momentum it's going to give you into your shot. Three. That's why we always start with our ball handling. Four. Last one, hopefully for me. Five. Great job, everyone. Okay, next up we have. So we just practiced this in the warm up. We're going to dribble it with our, everyone, start with your right hand. So we're dribbling it with our right hand. Okay, we're going to pick the ball up. At the same time, we're going to move over. So leap over, push off that outside leg, which will be our right leg. So we're pushing over getting ready to shoot. You'll land left, right, okay? So dribbling at right hand, push, pick the ball up, shoot. 
So last week we were doing this without the dribble. So we've added in the dribble. So it's going to feel a little bit uncomfortable. That's a good thing. It means you're getting better. So bounce, push, shoot. Remember when you're landing, we want to keep our toes in line with the basket, okay? My toes, my shoulders, my eyes, everything stays in line with the basket. That's three, four. Shyla Hill's really good at this move. She does it a lot in the game. Last one. Five. Okay, next up we're going left hand. Okay, so we're going pushing off our left foot, left hand dribble. All right, we're going to land right, left. The ball is a lot easier to get into your shot pocket with this one, okay? So we're dribbling it, we're picking the ball up, pulling it into our shot pocket straight up. It's one, left hand bounce, left hand push, two. Fingers in the ring, elbow by your ear, eyes on the target. Three. The eyes should be on the back of the ring when we're doing these. Four. Five. Great job, everyone. Um, next up, we have, this one should be a lot easier. We're going pound dribble, what we did in the um, ball handling. Pound dribble, cross, cross, jump, both feet in the air, shoot. Okay, so this is the easiest one we've done so far. Pound dribble, cross, cross, jump, shoot. Okay, start with our right hand. That's two, pound, cross, cross, jump, shoot, three. Keep those eyes up on the ring while you're dribbling. Four, pound, cross, cross, shoot, five. Great job, everyone. Let's swap hands. So we're starting with our left hand, pound, cross, cross, jump, shoot. So as we jump with this one, the ball's finishing in our left hand. Remember, we need to snatch it across our body, get it in our shot pocket, ready to shoot. Pound, cross, cross, snatch, shoot. Pound, cross, cross, snatch, shoot. That's three. Four. Pound, cross, cross, snatch, shoot, five, just. All right, next one. This one's going to be really good for us to practice during the week, getting ready to do our jump shooting on the move, okay? So, you can stand in front of the rings, probably the easiest. We're starting with our right hand, okay? We're going to push the ball out a little bit in front. We're moving our left foot first. So we're going right hand dribble, left foot, right foot, shoot. Okay, see when I finish my dribble, my right foot is in front of my left foot, ready to shoot. So I'm always in exactly the same position, no matter what ball handling I'm doing before my shot goes off, okay? So start both feet together, our left foot and the ball in our right hand, Get, go down at the same time. So they're touching at the same time. As I pick the ball up, my right foot's coming through to shoot, okay? And you can just start off doing it that slowly. So feet together, left foot, ball, step forward, shoot. Left foot, bounce, step forward, shoot, okay? I'm going to do it a bit quicker now, all right? 
So it's two steps, one dribble. I'm going to make two more. We should be feeling all that power from that strong step, strong dribble. It's moving through the ball up into my body, making it easy to shoot. Okay, that's five. We're going to swap hands. So we're going left, uh, left hand dribble, right foot moves first. Okay, both my feet are standing together. So we're going right dribble, sorry, left dribble, right foot, hit at the same time. I'm picking the ball up. I need, what do I need to do? Snatch it across into my shooting pocket. My right foot stays in front. The left foot comes into that exactly the same shooting position, okay? So starting again, left hand dribble, right foot, same time, snatch, shoot. Left hand dribble, right foot, step, snatch, shoot. Left hand dribble, woo. Right foot, snatch and shoot. Let's go, four more. One. Two. Three, four, last one, five. Great job, everyone. That's the that footwork in that um, bounce one, two is a footwork I use for every single jump shot, okay? So that's the ending of it. All right, I'm going to, this one's really tricky, okay? I'm just challenging you a little bit. So if you don't get it, that's completely fine. We're going to not spend too long on this, but we're going to do the punch dribble. Okay, so that's where we were pattering our feet. We're stepping our right foot this time. So same as the ball, uh, keeping our left leg on the ground. So we're stepping right foot and the ball come down at the same time. So pattering our feet. Right foot ball come down at the same time. As it comes up, I want you to push back, land, see how my right foot is still in front of my left foot. So I'm in that nice shooting position and then we're going to shoot, okay? So you can come close to the ring for this one. It's really tricky, okay? So pattering our feet, right foot, right hand, same time, shoot. But remember, no matter what we're doing with our dribbling, with our feet, we always want to end up in that shooting position, ball in shot pocket, eyes on the ring, right foot, or if you're left-handed, left foot, a little bit in front of the other, okay? So pattering. So we're pattering our right foot and our right hand, working together, push back, shoot. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm really bouncing the ball super hard in this dribble, okay? Using that momentum from the ball to push me back up. Great job, guys. Let's swap. So exactly the same. Our feet are pattering. Our left hand and our left foot are going to hit at the same time. Sorry, the ball and our left foot. Hitting at the same time, pushing back, okay? So as we push back from here, it's really hard to get my left foot behind my right. So as we push back, I want both feet to come in the air and my right goes in front of my left, okay? So patter, pound, shoot. We've already done all the footwork for this in the previous drills. It's just a punch dribble that's different. Two. Three.
Four, last one. Left foot, ball hit at the same time, push back and shoot. Great job, everyone. Grab a quick drink. Whew. All right, we've got one more drill left. And as I promised you last week, it's a defensive drill, okay? But it does have a layup involved. So I want you to, um, if you're not on an actual basketball court, let's take one, two, three, four, five big steps out, okay? And then I want you to take two big steps sideways, place your ball down. All right, so it should be at the elbow area. And then we're going to start next to the hoop, two steps to the other side. So under the hoop, step two, big step sideways. Okay, we're going to run one, two, three, four, five steps out, close out. So we throw our hands back. Okay, we're down in our stance, pat our feet. And then we're going to go big to bigger, four, one, two, three, four steps, pick up our ball, drop steps. I'm going to keep my right foot on the ground, okay? I'm moving my left foot, eyes on the ring. So picking up the ball, keeping that right foot still, left foot moves, turn your shoulders to the basket, and we're going into a layup, okay? So then walk the ball back, start again. I'm going to do it at tempo this time. Okay, so it looks like this. Ball. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to do five one way, five the other way. Off you go. Ready, set, go. Ball. Jog the ball back. Put it down. Ball. Jog the ball back. Woo. You guys keep going, okay? I'm going to give you two minutes to complete 10 all up, okay? So you've already done two. I'm giving you a minute 30. Ready, go. Oh. Great job, guys. This is the last thing that we're doing, so really push yourself. Pardon? Oh, that's awesome. Good job, Aaliyah. Good job, Maddie. Good job, Wilfert, Hazel, Layla. Holly, great job, guys. Oh, great to see Dad's involved. Good job, Dad. Nice. Good job, Maddie. Great job, guys. You have 40 more seconds. Twenty seconds. Nice. Great job. Good job, Layla. Good job, Alia. Job, Maddie. Nice, Layla. Good job, Indiana. Good job, Hazel. 10. Oh, we went over time. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job, everyone. Come to the screen. Grab, grab your water bottle. Should be puffed after that. 
I know there's only a very small group on tonight. So if you have any questions, write them in the chat box while you're grabbing a drink. Does there anyone have any questions? Nope. Oh. <laughs> um, have I ever had an ice bath and how was it? Yes, I have to have ice baths all the time, Maddie and Nick. All the time, like three times a week and they're so cold. It's the worst part about... I reckon it's probably the worst part about practicing is having to do the ice bath after it. Have you ever had one? I can see you can nod or shake. Have you ever, ever had one, Maddie? No? No. Well, good luck when you do have one. Um, any tips on being more dynamic? Um... Layla, I think doing the drill, we're doing a lot of drills this uh, masterclass to become more shifty. So it's not necessarily how dynamic you are. Like a lot of people have different athletic capabilities, but if you can stop and start and change your pace, change the height, you're dribbling, um, your manipulation over the ball, uh, double combination moves, all that stuff that we are going to do and we have been doing um, can definitely help. But if you really want to, you know, become the best athlete that you can be. Um, strength and conditioning is definitely the way to go. So during my rehab, I did six strength and conditioning um, sessions a week uh, for two to two and a half hours to try and build up muscle, but also make me quicker and more agile on the court. And it's definitely helped a lot. So if if you're going to be on next week, we can definitely do some of those drills in our warm up as well. I'll include them. Great question. Um, Indiana, I'm not sure where we can buy these T-shirts. I agree, they're super cool. I think LJ was doing um, something to purchase them. So keep your eye out, watch this space, and hopefully you'll be able to buy one soon because I agree, they are so cool. Um, Aaliyah, I was seven when I started playing basketball. So look, people start at all different ages, but, yeah, I started playing when I was seven, some people in the Opal squad only started when they were 15 and 16. So, you know, it's never too late or too uh, old to start. Um, but, yeah, as long as every time you're training, you're trying your best um, to improve with, with a growth mindset, okay? So if you found some of the stuff difficult today, I would expect you to. It was pretty hard stuff, okay? So go back and practice um, and, yeah, so we can get better. Will we see at the FIBA Asia Cup? Uh, the team hasn't been selected yet. There's still a squad of, I think, a fair few people. So hopefully we find out this week, um, you know, if we go into camp or not, and then a team will get selected from the camp. So keep your eyes out. Uh, Indiana, yes, I have a pre-set a, a set pre-game routine, absolutely. But when I was your age, I did not. I just went out, wanted to have fun with my friends, okay? But as I got older, as it became, you know, more of a job, um, it is my job, but as it became a job for me, obviously you had to take it a little bit more seriously to get the best out of myself. But I don't really expect you guys to have a set pre-game routine yet, okay? Just do whatever makes you feel good. I would love you to do some ball handling, some activations and some shooting if you had time before your game, okay, to make sure you're in the right frame of mind, ready to go. But for my set pregame routine, I'll start you from the very morning. I wake up, I take my dogs for a walk, um, and then I go to shoot around. After shoot around, I have lunch. Um, after lunch, I have a nap for usually an hour and a half. And then I wake up, have oats, a smoothie, go to the stadium, and at the stadium, I foam roll first, I activate, 
and then I do ball handling and I do a lot of form shooting. So all the shooting um, drills that I'm taking you through at the moment, I do those before I start and then I shoot quite a few threes, go back in for the team chat and then come out and do our team warm up. And then obviously after the game, we have to do recovery as well. Oh, how many games have you played in one day? Oh, we don't have to play a lot of, we don't have to play multiple games in one day now. Thank goodness. Um, but when I was younger, I think the maximum I played in one day was three. All right. Awesome job tonight, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'll see you next Monday. Okay. And hopefully, um, you know, practice these skills during the week and we'll definitely be moving on next week. Okay. So make sure we're practicing. Um, thank you, Maddie, for the good luck. And I'll see you all next week. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you. Bye. See ya. Bye. Thank you. Bye.